Hey there, what's going on? It's Lisa here, Raw Food for Kids. Thanks for tuning in. Got a nice recipe for you I'm super excited about. Going to be making some bread and butter pickles. When's the last time you had bread and butter pickles? It's been a really long time um, since I've had them and I've always actually liked them. I like something on the more on the sweeter side than the sour side when it comes to pickles. And they're so easy to make. And uh, yesterday I was in the store and I came across some of these little, they call them Kirby pickles or pickling pickles. And um, I thought they were so cute that uh, I said, ah, let me pick up a bag, a bunch of them, and um, let me make some pickles with them. So anyways, um, I'm going to be making um, enough bread and butter pickles to fill up this two, quart, this two cup mason jar. Okay, so just multiply the recipe as needed. This is... Um, <clears throat> a great thing that you can make ahead of time. It's, it keeps in the fridge for a bit and uh, it's great for snacking. It's fat free um, and uh, it, you can make them. You can give them away as presents. It makes excellent little gifts. I actually made one uh, just a minute or two ago. I'm going to give it to my dad. It's a spicy one. See that? Just, and he's going to love it. So uh, you give it away as presents. It's a nice little gift if you're going over someone's house. Um, so you can make some for yourself and for, for your friends. So anyways, let me start by um, making the uh, brine, they call it. That's what's going to make it have that pickle taste. And uh, to make the brine, I'm going to use um, apple cider vinegar, raw honey, and water. All right, and if you didn't want to use honey, you could use um, agave. You probably could even use maple syrup. Um, so basically, I'm going to tell you the measurements. I actually have in here in my bowl, um, just to save some time here, try to keep these videos a little shorter. I used, um, again, this is for, to fill up this two cup mason jar. I used a half a cup of apple cider vinegar, a half a cup of water, and three tablespoons of honey. And what I do is I just mix everything right here in the bowl, and then I taste it. Because this is perfect for me, but maybe you like it a little sweeter, add a little more honey. If you don't want it as sweet, you can either add a little more vinegar or you can add a little more water. But I think this is perfect. Remember, you're going to eat it with the, the cucumbers. But you can taste it. And this right here, this is an excellent salad dressing. This is a great dressing for uh, coleslaw. So uh, when you make it, definitely taste it because you're going to want to make it again. All right, so I've got half a cup of vinegar, half a cup of water, and three tablespoons of honey in here. And now for the spices. You can use pickling spices that are already ready to go if you want, but I happen to have these spices already in the house, and they're perfect for it. So <clears throat> I already put them in here. I'm using a quarter of a teaspoon of whole peppercorns. You want whole spices because you just it's really – Makes it look pretty, to be honest. Adds a little bit of flavor. I think it's really more for looks. But um, I've got a half, a quarter of a teaspoon of you can use black peppercorns. I actually have a mix of uh, black, red, green, and white, which just looks kind of pretty. Um, whole coriander seeds. Okay, a quarter of a teaspoon of whole coriander seeds, and a quarter of a teaspoon of yellow mustard seeds. This uh, basically, if you mash this up, it make yellow mustard. Um, but they kind of, when you add the spices, they'll start to actually uh, poof up. This has been in here for just a minute. And this is a, maybe this one, a mustard seed. Anyways, they'll kind of, they'll kind of poof up a little bit. Um, and you can eat them. So those are the spices. And you can get fancy if you want. You can put some fresh dill in here. You can put some garlic in here. Um, you know, there's no right or wrong way. You can put other vegetables in here. But I'm just keeping it simple. So, um, <clears throat> so there you go. You got your brine. To that, I'm going to add a quarter of an onion. Okay, this was about the size onion. It was about a little medium-sized onion. I used half for my dad's, and then here's a, the other half for for um, this one. So a quarter of, a, of an onion that I just sliced thin. You don't need to shave it. I just sliced it kind of thin. And then I'm going to add in <clears throat> a um, half a pound of these cucumbers that I thinly sliced. I used a mandolin, but you could slice them by hand. And I did them kind of thin. The thinner you slice them, the quicker they'll um, be ready to eat. Like, as soon as I mix this together, I can eat these. And I plan on, since I'm making a small batch, I'll finish it off today and tomorrow. 
Um, but if you wanted to keep it a little longer, I would suggest cutting it maybe a little bit thicker. But um, you see, if you use a mandolin, it just makes it all uniform. But rather than putting everything in the bowl, right in the jar, I mean, and kind of layering it up and pouring your liquid in, which is normally how you do it, I like to mix it all up in the bowl because, you know, the cucumbers kind of stick together, the spice, I like to kind of make everything a little more even in the jar. <clears throat> so, here we go. It was about three of these cucumbers I did, roughly about a half a pound, but there we go. And just kind of mix this all together. And if you wanted it spicy, <clears throat> like I did for my dad, I just took some red Fresno chili and I just sliced that up. So you can add that too. But there we go. I mean, really simple. And if you taste this, I mean, oh man, it's so good. Mm, I love bread and butter pickles. Yummy. Just give it like 30 minutes and these will be done. So I just take a spoon. <clears throat> over the bowl and I just get all the cucumber and onion in there just fill it up bang it down to <clears throat> get everything in there and you know food comes in all different sizes so <clears throat> you might have a tad extra I think I'm gonna add a little liquid now. I got a few little cucumbers in here. So just pour your, you can do it over the sink, I'll just be real careful. Pour your liquid in here. And it should be enough to fill up the top. There we go. Put a few more in there. All right, I think that's good. So there you have it. And where's my little lid? So you just want to sit this in the refrigerator. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just keep these in the refrigerator and uh, there you go. Bread and butter pickles. Like I said, you can you could actually cut these in spears if you wanted to. You could, um, you know, put some carrots in here, some cauliflower, some green beans. You could do whatever you want. Um, but this is for bread and butter pickles, they call them. The sweeter kind. So anyways, go, go to the farmer's market uh, tomorrow, Saturday, if you got one. Go get some little cucumbers and uh, go make some pickles. There we go. All right, thanks so much for watching. Remember, always eat happy foods. And um, <clears throat> please subscribe to these videos if you haven't. Appreciate any thumbs up on any of the recipes that you like. And uh, any comments, any feedbacks you have on any of the recipes, I do appreciate that as well. And uh, have a super awesome day. Take care. I got my Jamaican shirt. Says, uh, no problem, man. Take care.